I think you definitely have to come up with the language. Like you are definitely in a lens world before you start. Because you just look at the extremes of, of films. Look at something like Birdman, for example, mm. that was in the late teens, early 20s in terms of its sizes. So they had to decide that well in advance. They had to know that they were in that world. And I think that film had quite a few focal lengths from like 14 up to 21 or something. So you definitely have to know you're in a world. How that changes, though, I've found is evolutionary as you start shooting the movie. You start finding the lens. You start finding the mood. On the Batman, I think we started shooting with the 74 mil. That was our go-to lens for the first couple of scenes. And then it just was like we went to the 88 and suddenly, bang, there we go. That's the lens. Mm. All lenses we measured off the 88. You know what I mean? Like mm. that's our mid-lens. You know, on Doom Part 2, we knew we were going to be longer. That was part of the idea was that we were going to be longer. We knew that we were spherical. Mm. So therefore... On part one, the spherical was 55, 75. That were the two kind of sizes. On this, we went a bit longer, 58, 60, 85, 85. 135. Yeah. yeah. We jumped up a number of sizes, not just to get closer, which we did, but also just to create that closeness. Like a, the characters felt like they needed to be closer mentally, and that's kind of what did it for us. Mm. 